Hi YouTube, it's Lena, and I'm here today with my That's Expensive Project Pan update. So this was created by Misty. Uh, she did this the first year kind of on her own, although other people were welcome to join in. Last year and this year she did it in conjunction with the Fantastic Ladies. If you want to join in, you don't necessarily have to be a member of Fantastic Ladies. This is one where you could just throw a bunch of products together and start panning. It's just going for the most expensive stuff to your collection. Now, what's expensive in my collection versus what's expensive in your collection can be very different things. If your most expensive thing is like a $15 foundation from NYX or whatever, that that can go in here. It doesn't necessarily have to be, you know, <sighs> Lancome or so, some extremely ex overpriced thing from a uh, subscription box, which is what I fill these kind of projects with <laughs> for the most part. But uh, I do have an empty. I'm very proud. I managed to finish the Beauty Stat Universal Skin Refiner. So this is one that just pumped up and I did finish it literally like two days ago as of filming this. Its weight went from 46.8 grams to 35.8. I had already started using this when this project started so I only went through about 23 grams and there's supposed to be like 30 in here. But I definitely got my money. Actually, no, I didn't get my money's worth. This is $85, but I got everything out of it that I could. It lasted me a couple of months for something that I didn't pay full price for, but still worked okay. Uh, that's about all I can ask for. And now I will show you everything else that I'm working on, and then at the end, I'll show you what I'm rolling in. First is the Soam Exfoliating Pads. Uh, this started with 50. Last month I had 41 left over. Now I have 25. I used 16 in the past month, which was much better than the 9 previously. I've just gotten a little bit better about my skincare. So, doing better on that. I don't think I can finish these in the next month, although who knows? I might do even better and finish them off. But if I can't finish them in March, I can definitely finish them in April. So, I'm not too worried about that. Next is the Epione Beverly Hills Flawless Serum. Do not buy this. It is just silicone. I bought mine as an add-on through Ipsy, thank God, because they want to charge $195 for it. No. Yeah. <laughs> so, last time this weighed 93.3 grams. I had just started using it because I was finishing other stuff in January. This time it weighs 81.5. I feel a lot better about that. <laughs> Hopefully we can use even more in the next month. Because this is overpriced garbage. I will certainly take the $195 added to my empties for the year, but I do not think it is worth it. Next is something else that's not worth the price they sell, although it is at least a decent product. This is the Avant Pro Perfecting Collagen Primer. I went from here to here, which really surprises me, but like I shined a light through it and everything. I don't know if I just use a lot of this at one time or what, because I only used it five times, which is more than last time, but I was panning something else on alternate days. So I figure if I actually like wear this every day that I wear makeup in the next month, I will finish it at this rate. So I might do that. <laughs> Technically there's something else I should be rotating it with, but we might have to put that other one on the back burner. We'll see. Next is my concealer. This is the Cover FX Power Play Concealer for $30. This one is not going super fast. It doesn't really surprise me. I did use it 10 times last month, but the weight only went from 31.6 to 31.0. So I've only used up a gram of this so far, and there's like 10 grams in here. Yeah, as soon as I finish my current foundation, uh, I do have another one to go to, but uh, it's in a project that's only like a month in, I might start alternating this on days as foundation because while I really like it, and I don't mind it lasting, you know, three or four months, I don't want to be panning this for over half the year, so we might experiment with that a little. Now, I have a job now, so I'm wearing more makeup, but we'll see how things go in the next month. Maybe I won't feel the need to do that if I'm wearing makeup a lot more often and I get like some more moving progress on it. Because right now it's like, I'm going to have this for the rest of my life. Next is the Kate Somerville Exfolicate for $98. No, I, this is actually a really good product and I still wouldn't pay that, but these are, if you have Fab Fit Fun, these come up regularly in the box itself, much less in sales. So 
If I ever purchase it, I'm going to purchase it through them. Now, I only used this like twice in the last month, so progress is not really there. I was working on another physical exfoliator and definitely don't want to mix this with a physical exfoliator because this is some intense, this is some intense shit right here, so. Uh, next month we'll have more progress because I am done with the one that I was working on instead. It was a mini for my Beauty A to Z and spoiler alert for that, it is now done, so. I can now turn all of my attention to that. Next is the Beauty Blender Redo Set and Refresh Spray. They used to make this. I don't believe they do anymore because it was kind of a pain to find a price for it. But it's not so much how expensive this is because this is only $30. It only has 50 milliliters in it. So it, per, price per milliliter, it is the most expensive thing I own. And I'm going through it very quickly now that I'm using it every time I wear makeup, as you can see. So this will definitely be done by next month because I already use it every time I wear makeup, and yeah, that's not gonna be hard to finish at all. And finally, before I get into new stuff, I have my Laneige Sleeping Mask. I wanted it, last time I had only used it four times, this time I used it 10, and I wanted to use it at least eight times, so I at least hit my goal there. It went from 60.1 60 grams to 59.8. So that's three instead of one. That's 0.3 grams instead of 0.1. It still smells really good and I've had this, I feel like, forever. I feel like I'm at least starting to make like a dip in it, so that's something, but yeah, this is another one that's like 20 grams. If I don't move it along in this, I'm gonna have it for the rest of my life. I might as well feed it to my dog because it's going to go bad on me. I don't know, if you, if you keep up with some of my other Project Pans, you will know the saga of my lip balm eating dogs. I'm not going to do that, but... Yeah, it's going to go bad on me before I can ever finish it. <laughs> so I need to figure that out. Because I don't keep this one by my bedside. I use this as a treatment, like with my skincare. Because I can go through lip balms by my bedside pretty easily, but that's not how I treat this. I don't, need, I don't want to necessarily apply this three or four times before I fall asleep. I just want to apply that once because that's really all I need it for. Anyways, I'm babbling. So what I'm rolling in is the Verso Super Eye Serum. This is like $65 and I will give it this. It comes with 20 milliliters of product. Now, most eye creams full size come with 15 milliliters or less. So I'll give it that. It at least comes with a lot of product, but I don't think this is particularly impressive enough to call for that sort of price tag. It's not bad by any means. I have oily skin, so I can get away with lighter things as my eye cream, even though it's a serum. But I, eye cream is one of those things I actually do like to be at least a little bit on the thicker side. I think I can hear my cat meowing outside my door. So, yeah. So, would love to get this finished and used up. We are starting right here. I've already been working on this kind of passively for the past month. I also used up like two foil packets of eye cream, and if you've ever worked on a pa foil packet of eye cream, those things can take quite a long time, considering it's literally a foil packet, but I've got through all of those that I have for eye cream, so now I can go back to this, and hopefully I can get through it in the next couple of months, because I do go through eye cream fairly quickly. So that is it. Uh, next time, I know I'll have this done, I'm thinking about just using this as my one primer for the next month to see if I can get it knocked out and that would be fun. I really think this is going to take me too much just due to my general forgetfulness about doing my skincare every night, especially if I don't wear makeup that day. But if I'm wearing makeup more often, might be might be a change. But at least one, probably two, maybe even three depending on how things go. So next month could be a big update. So that is it. Thank you guys for tuning in. As always, I do really appreciate it, and hopefully I will see you later. Bye!